Apple has released the iOS 15 last week and in this video, I'm going to tell you why you should install it right now. The first feature here that I really want is that you can now copy text from pictures in your photos or whenever you want to take a picture from your camera. So to do this, you can go to the Photos app and find a picture that has text in it. And to copy the text, you can just double tap it and the text will be highlighted. This works from PDFs in which the text is not available to be copied or maybe in objects that you took a photo of. And the best part here is you can also copy the text from your handwritten notes, which is very convenient. The second one is somewhat related to this and that is the when you're trying to move the focus of the text, the line that is in between the text, and whenever you're trying to drag it with your finger, your finger is just gonna cover the text. But with iOS 15, you can now see what's behind your finger because it will release or pop up a magnifying glass above your finger, and then you will see what's behind your finger. The third one is the new and improved Safari experience. Now, a lot of people have different thoughts about this, but personally, I like this new look. It looks more convenient. It looks more easy to use and understand. But what I like about this the most is the tab groups. Tab groups is a new kind of functionality for Safari that will group similar tabs for you. So if you like watching anime like me, you can just collect those tabs of different animes and group them into one folder. Or maybe you have this research in school, but your tabs are kind of messy. With these tab groups, you can just compile those tabs that are related to your research and combine them into one folder. The fourth one is the new notifications. For quite a while now, the notifications on iPhones are quite messy, but in iOS 15, it has been fixed with a lot of different kinds of features like improving the look of it but what i like the most here is the notification summary the notification summary is when the less important notifications are combined and will deliver to you on a scheduled time so that is why whenever your phone is notifying you you know that it is a person and the less important ones the notification for your games the notification for some of the emails that you think that are not important the likes of the post on facebook and instagram you can just put them in a notification summary and they will all come to you at a time where you set them to come. There's a feature here that is somewhat related to notifications and that is focus modes that you can automate what kind of notifications will enter into your phone at a given time. But I don't think I'm going to use this pretty much often or maybe if I'm going to use this even for once because it is somewhat a hassle to set up. And the fifth and final one of the top five features that I really like in iOS 15 is the offline Siri. You can now use Siri even without internet connection. So even if you're outside and your mobile data is not open, you can ask Siri to set a time. You can ask Siri anything you want that can be performed without internet and internet will not be a problem to Siri anymore. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes counting down. Hey Siri, disable the timer. It's canceled. Hey Siri, wake me up at 7. I set your alarm for 7 p.m. Hey Siri, turn off that alarm. I turned off your 7 p.m. alarm. Now these five features that I mentioned are not the only feature that comes with iOS 15. There are still a lot more out there that comes with iOS 15. But these five that I mentioned are just my top five favorites so far. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't want it, the other button seems to work as well. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first one to see future videos like this. Have a great day.